Hello once again, watchers of Good TV. My name is Nick Pell, and this is once again coming from my college dorm room. Now, it has been nine long years, <laughs> and the show, which has been on CBS for a for those nine years, is now over, and that is how I met your mother. So this is going to be a video covering very, very broadly the events of the first eight, first eight seasons and most of season nine. I'm not really going to dive into too many details because that'd be a one hour long video and I don't want to film that. Um, I will be talking a little bit about the finale because that's what people are really talking about um, and giving my thoughts on it. Yeah, no, that, that part will be towards the end, so if you haven't seen the finale yet, uh, just wait until that and then go watch it and finish watching this video. Um, How I Met Your Mother is a show that I started watching a number of years ago. I think it was, I want to say on season 6 when I started watching it, and I watched it just through Netflix, just because it was a show that I got interested in, people were talking about, and I had the time to sit and binge watch it. I think I, I think at some points I got through a season in about a day and a half. So I got really hooked into it. And the main star of the show is a man named Ted Mosby. And he is a guy who is desperately searching for love. He wants to get married, find the woman of his dreams, all this type of stuff. He's very much like me in that sense. He, he goes through these this nine year span in which he gets into these situations and these relationships which obviously aren't going to work out because the show is called How I Met Your Mother and it's going to end when he meets the mother, which it does. So from the get-go, you know every relationship that he has in the show is not going to last. You can feel attached to some of these characters. A lot of them are recurring characters, which come back every so often, but you're not going to know who the mother is until the finale. Other characters are prominent. Barney Stinson, played by Neil Patrick Harris, very, he's like the comic relief in the comedy show, um, in that he is this playboy, he is a womanizer, he has a reputation of being able to score women very instantly, and he is, like I said, the kind of comic relief, but it's really interesting when we get to see his emotional side, or when he actually turns into a real human being, in that we see the man behind the mask, and it almost seems like the womanizing is just something that he's gotten so used to that to do anything else would, would leave him lost and that's kind of what the finale kind of touches on a little bit which I'll, I'll, I myself will touch on when I talk about it. Other people, Robin Trubatsky who is a character who is kind of the target of Ted's love <laughs> for the majority of the series. He dates other people. He dates Robin eventually for about a year or two, I think. I don't remember exactly how long. But uh, they do have a relationship and they break it off. And I'm just assuming that you know this. Um, her and Barney date at first. They break up and then they get kind of back together when Barney proposes. Um, so it's kind of like a sudden thing. Uh, they are the, the ones getting married and season 9, um, and the ninth season focuses on their wedding weekend, and leading up to the big wedding itself. So Robin is a very interesting human being, she goes through a bunch of different news positions, she is the best friend of Lily Aldrin, who I'll talk about in a, in a moment, uh, Kobe Summers, I think, Smolders, I don't know, um, she does a really good job with the role. Uh, Marshall Erickson, he is a very good person. He was Ted's college roommate in college, obviously, and he is married to Lily, and he is a Minnesotan. Go Minnesota. <laughs> so a lot of the references that he made in the show I was first able to relate to, which is awesome. And uh, he is also kind of a comedic person. He is into law. He, I think in the first or second season, um, he passes the bar exam, which allows him to be a lawyer. Uh, he eventually moves into environmental lawyers and then corporate lawyers, and like, towards the end of the show, he becomes a judge. And uh, so yeah, that's that's Marshall, without going into immense detail. And then lastly is Lily Aldrin, who, again, married to Marshall. They got married in season two, and uh, they've always been very lovey-dovey on the head of a kid. Oh gosh, like... Towards the end of the series, I don't remember what season. 
And she's kind of like the moral compass of the show, kind of. These are the five characters that we follow for nine seasons, and we see their ups and their downs, their different relationships, and the different situations that they get into. And uh, at the beginning of every episode, Bob Saget has a narration talking about whatever the event or situation that the episode is revolving around is because he's telling the story. Before I talk about the finale, um, I want to say the show is something which is very interesting in that it, it, it is essentially the friends of this generation in that uh, it, it focuses on this group of people who go through all these life experiences and they're relatable. I think every character, all, each of these five characters is relatable to somebody. Um, in that either they're desperate for love, they are in a relationship in which they are crazy about the other individual, um, they're so lost and emotionless, well not emotionless, but maybe afraid to look for love, that they are essentially just going after every woman that they can to kind of avoid the whole thing, or uh, they are hardened due to childhood pop star ness I don't know. It's it's a show where you, literally you can relate to all these characters and it's very interesting in that aspect. And there's a bunch of things that happen and that recur in all the episodes. The slapsgiving thing is something which happened at least once a season. Whenever videos of Robin as a Canadian pop singer <laughs> uh, occurred, those were always kind of comedic. Um, and just all these different things um, make it so that the show is fairly relatable to a bunch of different people. With the ninth season, which was the final season, I was actually really surprised at how well they pulled it off. Um, I thought that it was going to be a train wreck and they were just going to be pulling and stretching different stories to try to make it fit 23 episodes or however long it was. And uh, I, I thought I pulled it off because it used a lot of the flashbacks to other, like, in from the past or um, even flashbacks to the future with Ted and his wife and it, it honestly worked fairly well just a bunch of different random situations that Barney and Robin got into and, along with all the other people and then throughout that season we also see glimpses of the mother in that everyone meets up with her at some point in a different point of the show and eventually, obviously, Ted is the last one to see her in the season 9 finale. So this is where I'm going to touch on that. Um, so if you have not seen the season 9 finale of How I Met Your Mother, which is also the series finale, probably don't watch this unless you want spoilers, which you have probably already gotten since the internet kind of flooded with them. So I got stuff spoiled for me. It sucked. Finale as a whole, before I dive into specifics, um, I enjoyed it for what it was. I thought that it was fine up to about the very end. I liked that it, well actually I didn't really like that it wrapped up Barney and Robin's whole wedding and reception thing very very quickly and then just jumped ahead years and years and years to kind of highlight all these big moments that occur all over the show. We see Robin slowly drifting away from the group after her and Barney get divorced and after three years of marriage, we see Lily and Marshall have a kid, Jar have more kids. Uh, Marshall gets a judgeship, he becomes a judge. Uh, Ted and Tracy, I think her name was, they get engaged and then they also have like two kids before they actually get married. And uh, Barney uh, does a perfect month and in which he sleeps with 31 women. And number 31 is someone who he knocked up. Um, he's very not wanting to deal with having a child. And then he goes and meets his daughter and he falls in love with his daughter. But that happens and then it all kind of goes together and just kind of continues into Ted's story. Um, in that uh, the mother ends up dying. Um, she, get, she gets sick and she dies. And that's essentially where it ends. That's the part where I think it would have been maybe good to end with Ted at his desk being and that kids is how I met your mother um, and then going into the da, 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 theme. but no they, they continue and they pull on the idea of 
Robin being the person that Ted has really loved the whole time, which is true, but I think it's kind of a cop-out, honestly, because uh, he spent his whole time on the show uh, desperately in love with her, and then the last, at least, season, um, season or two, I don't remember how much, trying to get her out of his head and accept that he will never be with her. And... Uh, I don't know. I understand where the directors were going. They say that they've had this ending, or the writers, um, they said that they've had this ending in their heads for, or since the show started, which I don't know if I believe that, but, I mean, it worked, I suppose, but I didn't really find it terribly exciting, I guess. Like I said, kind of a cop out, in my opinion, but, uh, the rest of the finale was fine, I thought, um, for the most part. I, would have liked to see them do a little bit more with uh, Barney Robbins' reception and more stuff with that. But I understand why they had to kind of speed things along, get all the big moments in um, in 40 minutes. So, as a show, How I Met Your Mother is great. Um, I have loved basically all nine seasons. They, there's very, very little things that I have had issues with. Um, and if you have not, started watching this show for some reason and you're this far, well, you just got the series kind of spoiled for you, but um, you can start watching it on Netflix. It should be on there. I don't know why it wouldn't be. So yeah, that's my thoughts on How I Met Your Mother. Leave yours down in the comments down below and I would love to hear them. Leave your favorite moments from the show's nine year history and um, all that type of stuff. As always, my good people, my name is Nick Bell. Like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you so choose. I'd appreciate it immensely. And as always, keep on watching.